Hi there. You're awake. Oh, don't bother getting up. Just lay down and relax and just rest your head on my lap. Well, more like my tail, actually. But you get the idea. That was quite the crash, huh? When your ship crashed against these rocks, I didn't think you would have survived. You almost didn't, but I saved you. You're welcome, by the way. But, as you can see, I'm no savior. <laughs> you should have noticed from the tale, right? Maybe you thought I was a mermaid? A kind and gentle and beautiful mermaid who just wants to save shipwrecked sailors like yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I'm actually a siren. You should have been able to tell from the rocks alone. Jagged rocks like these were made for sinking ships, you know? <laughs> you should have been more suspicious. But now you're mine, and you're at my mercy. If I'm to be completely honest, I don't know why you even came to me. Am I really that pretty? I know it wasn't because of my voice. My voice is far too weak to lure in any sailor, you see. If I try to sing, I can't make myself loud enough to be heard. The sailors always take one look at me and know not to get too close. And every single time, without fail, they change course away from me. So... They never get close enough to hear my song and be charmed by it. And I've never gotten a chance to actually catch and eat a human. You'd be my first. If sirens needed to eat to live, <laughs> I'd have starved long ago. But still, it's not like you're going to be going anywhere. You don't even look like you can stand up, much less swim away from me. So, I guess we can talk for a bit, right? My precious meal isn't going anywhere. You know, since I've never caught a human before, and I'm the only siren around here, really, I've never had much of a conversation. How would you like to have a little chat with me? I mean, it's not like you can say no, since I could eat you at any moment. It's best to just follow along with me, okay? I'm embarrassed to admit it, but there's just so many things I'm ignorant of. I've always been fascinated by human ships. I've seen some very large and imposing vessels in my time, and when I see them conquer the waves, I'm completely awestruck. I have no idea how you make them. But what I'm most curious about is human songs. Sometimes, when a ship sails by, if the sailors are particularly loud, I might hear a few words of a sea shanty they sing before they inevitably change course away from me. And because of that, I don't think I've ever heard any song in its entirety. I've only ever heard scattered parts here and there. I think at most I've heard five lines at once. And I believe it went like... As the souls of the dead fill the space of my mind, I'll search without sleeping till peace I can find. I fear not the weather, I fear not the sea. I remember the fallen, do they think of me when their bones in the ocean? Forever will be. It's really quite beautiful, isn't it? And sad as well. But I think that sorrow makes it even more beautiful. I know you humans hype us sirens up as these seductive and gorgeous creatures, but you're really quite beautiful in your own way. You're fascinating. It would almost be a shame to eat you. I mean, I really want to, though. 
You're so vulnerable. Your skin so exposed. So easy to sink my teeth into. And so defenseless. You don't even have as much of a knife on you. <laughs> what could you do against me? And that crash really left you worse for wear. I'd be surprised if you could even throw a punch, much less overpower me. When I look at prey as vulnerable as you, every instinct inside me is telling me to eat you. I've never tasted a human before, and you look very, very good. But it would be such a shame to eat you, wouldn't it? You're human. You must know so much. I wonder how many songs you know, especially complete ones. I bet complete ones are a lot longer than five lines, aren't they? I'd love to hear a few songs. It doesn't really matter if you aren't much of a singer. I think I might even prefer it if you were a bad one. It'd be pretty cute. So, now then. Why don't you tell me the lines of a song you know? And I would obey if I were you. Don't forget, I could eat you at any time. Oh, that was wonderful! Truly splendid, and here I thought I was the siren. Your songs are so... alien to me. It's no wonder I find you so fascinating. Meanwhile, I'm stuck here, and there is such a limit to inspiration in here. Out there, there's a wide expanse of the sky and the bottomless depths of the ocean. I know you humans find it so mysterious. Why, even I haven't explored it much myself. And of course, there's my own loneliness to draw inspiration from. But other than those three things, I don't really have much inspiration for songs. I've even tried to make a few of my own, you know? There's not really much else to do out here. But you humans, you have your own vibrant world out there on land to draw inspiration from. And sometimes I explore the wreckages of ships and I'm fascinated by what I can find. You know, once there was a statue of an animal with two large tusks and a long snout. And I think it had these two giant flappy ears. Oh, it was otherworldly. Or this time, a wreck had this sort of device. It had a bunch of writing on it and I couldn't really decipher it. But it kind of looked like a circle. And on the circle, there were these two arms, and the arms moved and made a ticking noise. That thingamabob is my most prized possession. After you, of course. But the point is, and I know I'm repeating myself out here, you humans are truly mesmerizing. So I'd like to hear more lines to a song. Please? Oh, I know I don't have to say please. Not when you're like this. But... Still, I'd like to hear another song. Oh, that was just as entrancing as the last one. I absolutely must commit the lines to memory. You know, songs tend to have deeper meanings, don't they? I wonder what yours meant. Just thinking about that is just as exciting as listening to it. Oh, I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. You're really quite delightful to have around. I wonder, what would you think of one of my songs? Should I sing it for you? I can give you a short one, just a sample. I wonder if you'd find it as exotic as I find yours. Probably not, but it's an interesting experiment, nonetheless. Here goes. in a bottle out to sea I waited and waited my soul filled with glee the thought on my mind of what could be for someone else to return their heart to me but as days became night and the nights became days, I 
waited and waited till my eyes did glaze. And the wasted time set the sea ablaze. Now far too violent for hearts to appraise. So, what do you think? Not bad, right? I know the syllables aren't perfect, but at least it rhymes. And I think it has such a nice meaning. Maybe I could use a bit more practice on making lyrics for songs, though. The sea shanties the sailors sing, they're always better than this. They're always much better constructed. <laughs> the problem stopping me from improving is... I don't exactly have anyone to give me some sort of feedback. But maybe... Maybe you could do that for me? I'd love to get feedback from you. And not just on my lyrics, but on my singing as well. Well, I'd even just love to talk, really. I've been dying for a conversation. You know what? I think I'll keep you around. Yes, I'll keep you. You're mine, and you're never leaving me. I won't eat you, I promise. But in return, you have to do something for me too, okay? What is it? Well, it's simple, really. Just talk to me. Tell me about human things, about human songs, and do tell me how my singing is. Here, I'll get started. So listen closely, okay? La na na na. 